Man, listen. <coughs> if anybody know me, if anybody know me, know me, you know what I'm saying? They know that if you had any kind of work or you had any kind of anything, you had to come in my house. Because my daddy was the first person in New Orleans that knew how to turn soft cocaine into hard in the 80s. So I don't give a f who you was. I, I, don't, I don't care if you was from the St. Thomas County, you know, you've been in my house before. Since I was seven. <clears throat> this was my life. You know what I'm saying? Seeing my daddy over the stove with a pirate. I test to you hear me, in his hand from the time I go to school in the morning to the time I get out of school in the evening. You feel what I'm saying? And the same thing. So, like, you know, dudes used to be beefing with each other, you know? <clears throat> they come, they leave, the ops, what they call now these days, the ops come right after them with their guns, you hear me? <laughs> and, and it's just like that, but my, you know, my pops, you know, you know, cash respect in my pops, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, so much to where they would never, ever, none of that shit would never take place around my career, you know what I'm saying? Because pops, you know, they knew like, Ain't none of that. Yo, fuck. Who y'all beefing with? Uh, who here? My, my 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 kids in here. Official, man, you hear me? Like, come on, man. Carry your friends, man. Uptown friends, man. One of the, man, one of the rawest niggas come from New Orleans, Louisiana. We coming out of this shit. Speaking of Cutthroat, man, what, what, all the official niggas that was on Cutthroat, probably me and other niggas in the city that wanted to get on it. Hmm. Why they selected people that was on Cutthroat? The people that was on, why, why, why did them choose them people? And how, how did that even come about? I mean, you had to be a real nigga. I mean, you had to be. Come on, man. You already stuff. know that. Like, you know, what I'm saying you had to be official for what. You hear me? And then, like, you know, you gotta be, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had to have that oomph. You know what I'm saying? Like, Slim was a nigga, you know what I'm saying? He was, like, you know, one of them dudes, like, he was special. Like, you Virgo. I'm born the day before Slim, you know what I'm saying? I'm born September the 8th. He born September the 9th. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody think that's my brother. That ain't my brother. That's just my partner. We just got that motherfucking twink. You hear what that six coke and shoulder down with his head at home, man. <laughs> you nigga get high off that stick and barrel wall and fuck these hoes, but I love my home. What was the, what was the uh, relationship between you and BG? Man, man, just was cool, man. My dog, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, we had a misunderstanding one time with me and Jules about a little female or whatever, whatever. But me, you know, we don't do nothing. We don't, we don't get into it about no girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, um, nigga straighten that shit out, man. And, you know what I'm saying? We moving, man. Jules and Jill free my nigga BG by the way. You know what I mean? Like, man, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's been my dude. BG, the brother, high kizzle. You know what I'm saying? We used to be on the road. All of us used to be on the road with Cash Money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like what a lot of people don't know, I started on the road with Cash Money before UTP even started. You feel me? Like, I come home from jail the year 2000. You know what I'm saying? The year, two, the year 2000, January the 1st. I was on the road with Cash Money January the 3rd. Because, you know, 
Juve, Juve seen me in the House of Blues. Turk took me. You know what I'm saying? Turk was the one that really took me to the uh, Cash Money anniversary at the House of Blues that night. He was like, man, Turk was like, you home? I'm like, yeah. He like, man, we got our anniversary, man. You remember at the House of Blues tonight? I'm taking you with me. So Turk took me with him. And prior to that. How, how old were you at the time? Um, I was 20. About 20? Yeah, I was 20. When, when Turk brought me to the House of Blue, you know, Jew, he brought me backstage, Jew, Birdman, Joe Casey, all those, like, uh, mm -hmm. Jew seemed to, like, spit something. Because prior to that, when they were shooting a baller blocking movie, before I even ended up on the road with them, you know, this one I was just in the hood street hustling, or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, getting street money or whatever, whatever, and, you know, Turk always been my dog, Juve always been my dog, but Turk always was the one used to always come to my side of the project because, you know, we really from two different sides of the project. They're from the old side, I'm from the new side. Man, Soldier Slim from the same side of the project. Juve and Turk from the same side of the project. That's the old project, side. What project you Magnolia. You know what I'm saying? And, <clears throat> you know, I'm from Six and Magnolia. You know what I'm saying? I buy the six coat thing. That was, you hear me? That was slim. You know, talk the six coat. Six, you know, that's that's my that's where I, you know that's where I grew up. You just drew me into uh, the real. The real, no, no. My 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 guy, man. You know, like hated to see my little bro. You know, go. You know, and, and catch an L and then go. With you feel what I'm saying? Because it's so much potential. Great. I'm talking about. What are you talking about, MC? What do you think Slim saw in the real one that made him that gravitate? Slim seen the real one. Slim seen Slim seen himself in the real one when he was the real age. <laughs> you know, the real one wasn't nothing but another Slim. Just a younger version. If Slim didn't die today, what would you see cut through for me? I created, and I came up, and I originated the Noe Clap. I was with Slim. We was in Atlanta, promoting the, mur the, uh, the Murder Dog magazine that he had when he was on front of the Murder Dog. And years later, and a few months after, you know what I'm saying? We went down there, you know, me, him, Cutthroat committed. Jizzle had chapel sitting with him, guarding them. You know what I'm saying? We all went down to Atlanta. You know, I'm sitting in a hotel in the window, in the Marriott. After we done came from the festivities and all that, just in the window. Feel me? And, 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 and that thing just come to my head while I'm looking out the window. And, I'm, and I tell Slim, I'm like, man, listen to this. He like, that's how I sound. That's how I sound. I'm like, and you know, that's what I'm saying. That would make niggas want to sign me. That would make niggas want to fuck with me because I was already active. I was already official, <laughs> stamped, whatever you want to fucking call it. You feel me? A nigga don't want to fuck with no nigga that ain't stamped, that ain't official. You know it ain't coming. You hear me? Like, and my nigga Turk used to always tell me, man, you out your hustling, man, hustling, man. Fuck that, dog, you rap too good, dog, you hear me? You don't need a nigga. He like, bitch, I know you're getting your money on the streets, but you need a, you really cold. And I used to always tell Turk, my right hand of God. Turk, fuck that rap shit. <laughs> yeah, Cause I ain't, you know, that shit be like fake. You hear me? And I see kind of like, I see how niggas be playing it, bro. You hear me? They don't be playing it real. 